morning welcome back to my channel today is going to be a very quick little nursery tour oh my gosh i'm five months or five months full over five weeks postpartum now i was totally planning on doing this video before baby girl arrived but we were waiting on our dresser that didn't get delivered until after she was here so it's coming a little bit later i was planning on being like dressed up super cute to like match the vibe of the nursery instead we have my little athleisure wear and uh some slippers so we're gonna get right on into it while she's still sleeping so i can show you but i'm super happy with how it turned out and the theme is definitely like a more boho vibe i wanted it to be like honestly just to feel like a little sanctuary for me because i figured if i'm going to be spending a ton of time in here i want it to be relaxing for me super happy with how it turned out so let's get right on into it i did want to mention i will have everything i can possibly link linked down below i've already linked a bunch of it on my instagram in the nursery highlight but i will try to link as much as i can down below starting off with the main event her name sign i got that off of etsy i was originally thinking i was going to do like one of those big wood block signs but the more i thought about it those are super heavy i have one in my office and i'm like do i really want that hanging above her crib no so i just got this cute little cutout we actually just used the little command strips to hang it my mom and i cut just little pieces and that worked great it was fairly affordable i think it turned out really cute and you can pick like whatever stain you want but Emerson Marie. This is her little nursery and I just love it. And then this little wood sign is from Target. The one downfall to doing all the little wood accents, like OCD with trying to make everything match, natural wood is very hard to make match because it's like some of them are really light. Other natural wood looks a little bit more orange and I definitely have some of that going on in here, but my mom always tries to tell me she's an interior designer. She's like, Kel, once it gets in the room, you won't be able to tell and it doesn't need to all be super matchy matchy especially with boho stuff so I kind of let go of that but I was really nervous trying to buy all of the different natural wood accents because I was like oh my gosh they're not all gonna match I think they all look pretty good so this is from Target and then like all these little random things are just decor I had we have the owlette sock for her and as well as the camera they showed the camera being like linked up and or like hooked up here and then looking straight down but it worked out perfect that we had this little shelf here so we could just set the camera here it looks down on her works perfect i just wanted a basic white nursery set so i got the crib and the dresser from pottery barn crib is obviously very basic i wanted something that was like timeless and not really going to go out of style so this is the nash set from pottery barn i believe pottery barn kids i hate ordering stuff from pottery barn the delivery is just always a hassle but their stuff is so nice so i know this is gonna hold up i know it's gonna be fantastic um so yeah this is the nash crib we got the newton mattress that's like fully breathable like if she were to be face down she can still breathe through it so we got the newton mattress i have lots of different sheet and changing pad sets but this one in particular is my favorite it was the first one i bought to kind of like match the whole vibe it's from crate and barrel they have a couple different colors in it but i thought this was really cute and then the little mobile is from etsy as well that will be linked down below I know she doesn't have this exact one anymore. They're all handmade, um, but she has a couple different available right now. And then I'm sure when this is going up or whenever you're watching this, she'll have new ones. Uh, they are all handmade, like I said, so they're all very unique. And I thought the little rainbows were so cute. And once again, with the natural wood. This is probably my favorite part of the room because I think it just looks so pretty. I got this cute little swaddle rack. It's just a little hanging rack, but I thought it would be nice to have the swaddles hung just so it was like very easily accessible. This was from Etsy as well. Swaddles are from, oh gosh, like Jabalu, Lulu and company. This one's like Milkmaid, Milkmaid Goods. We have some from Copper Pearl. Uh, Basically all the stretchy swaddles are my favorite. These ones are super cute, but they're not stretchy and therefore they're kind of a pain. She breaks out of them super easily. Swaddle rack, I'm so glad I ended up doing it. I think it looks really cute, like very aesthetic. And it makes it so easy to just grab a swaddle, swaddle her up and then we're good rather than having them all folded somewhere. The shelves I got, there's four total in here, two shorter ones and two of the longer ones. Just that natural 
natural wood which you can see what i'm talking about this one's like very it looks like bleached wood whereas this one's more orange looking once you add all the decor i feel like it helps everything match like this also from etsy um but it has the orange and the bleached wood in it so i feel like that really helps like tie it all together cute little plants um more little wood decor this is actually a centerpiece from her baby shower so that was fun we got to kind of add that in here and bring it all together these were gifts from our baby shower from our photographer so i actually am going to switch these pictures out to our newborn photo shoot we did the pictures came out so cute and we did the pictures in here i love them uh but these shelves were from etsy i loved the little leather straps that kind of like hold them up and i thought it would tie in the dresser you can kind of see the dresser right now i'll turn you guys so you can see the full thing i wanted like little leather accents to add a little pop into the nursery so I thought it would be fun to do the shelves with the leather straps. Saw those on Etsy and I was like, that's adorable. I'm gonna need those, please. This little plant is from World Market. Um, I feel like they have really good plants. All of the fake fiddle leaf plants in our house that I always get questions about, those are from World Market as well. So if you're looking for fake plants, they've got lots of them. Shapes, sizes, different heights, different kinds. They're really cute. And this one, I needed something that was like a good medium size and kind of skinny to fit this space. So I thought that worked perfect. Moving on to the changing table and the dresser. This is what held up this video so dang long. Have it now and that's all that matters. And it's super cute. So um, once again, this is the Nash set from Pottery Barn Kids. The main reason I wanted it, white, basic, and these leather straps I think are so cute. Adds such a fun little pop. It's unique, but also something that I personally think is gonna stay in style. I, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna get tired of it. So super excited about this piece. I think it kind of brings the whole room together. I like that it came with a little changing area on top. So this is the same little changing pad cover that matches the sheet that's currently on the bed once again we change these out all the time i've washed this thing so many times already there's normally a diaper pail gonna be over there but because she's still so little she's sleeping in our room right now so that was the one thing i was like i was waiting for the dresser for so long and then i'm like she's not even gonna be in here it's not a big deal so i stopped stressing about it my main stress was I wanted to get this video recorded first. But yeah, so she's actually down in our room. We have another changing pad and changing area in our room. We have all of her little newborn clothes and zero to three month clothes down there right now. So she doesn't spend that much time in here except for when we're in the rocker because soothes her so much. So love our rocker already. We've already gotten a ton of use out of it. But yeah, so it's nice that it has this whole little changing area up here. We keep diapers out here, wipes, and then these are the smaller shelves that match the longer ones on the other side of the wall. And yeah, we've got six drawers. I got little drawer organizers, but because she's not up here very often, aka we're not up here very often, her clothes aren't up here. I still have a lot of organizing to do, but I'm excited for when she is gonna be up here. I think this is gonna be perfect. Moving on to the last little area of the room. This is a pretty small room, but it works perfect for a nursery. This rocking chair, like I already said, we absolutely love. We've already gotten a ton of use out of it. It has a spot to plug in a cord so you can charge your phone. There's actually two spots and it reclines, it swivels, which is super nice and it rocks. So it was expensive. It was like one of the most recommended rocking chairs for a nursery that I got off of Instagram. The one that you guys all recommended. It's like the baby Leto Kiwi one. This one was a little bit more expensive because it has a gold base and it has this different material on it. It's like textured. Probably still would have opted for this one because we have cats that pluck at things and they can pluck at this and it's not gonna ruin it. So this has worked out really well for us and it's an ivory color. So it kind of once again fits the fits the room, but this one was more expensive. They do have other material options that are less expensive, but this chair I'm definitely loving. I think some people said that Target has like a knockoff version or like a dupe of it that is more affordable. I didn't look into that one. Super nice. It has, like I said, this little pillow comes with it, but it reclines, which is super nice. It does take up more space because it reclines. Definitely think it's worth it. Once again, she loves it rocking her in this and it's just a comfortable chair. 
share it has worked really well. Hanging plants, like I mentioned, are all from World Market, including the little hangers themselves, like the little basket things. I got one that was leather because once again, trying to add in the little pops of leather detail, including on the little end table nightstand thing. I don't really know how this is supposed to be used, but I got this little, whatever, little shelf thing from World Market as well. Once again, it's more of that yellow color, but once you once we got it in here, I feel like it looked really good. So yeah, then while I'm nursing her here or just chilling with her here, I have burp cloths. These little baskets are just from Target. Once again, the little leather detail, thought it was very cute. So there's always a bunch of burp cloths in here. And then this currently is just like a hodgepodge bin. And then we have all of her books and like her little baby book down there that I still have so much to fill out of. Like I've been horrible about doing things like that. Like the sentimental stuff that I know I'm gonna wanna look back on. You think you're gonna be on top of it? Even while I was pregnant, I'm like, I'm never gonna miss a week of update pictures. I missed a lot of weeks <laughs> for doing update pictures. Um, it's all stuff I thought I was gonna be fantastic at. And then, you know, you're just like, wow, I'm busy and it totally slips your mind. But this has worked out really well. I would definitely recommend having something that's like big enough for you to set water on top, coffee on top. Have We have the little hatch sound machine. I have two of these love it so much little decorations i actually got at our baby shower the little frida humidifier and that's basically it that timed out perfect because she just started crying in case she's probably hungry but that is her nursery and i absolutely love it oh the one other thing i'll show you this is the rug we ended up going with i was so happy i actually saw this exact rug on one of the like nursery photo ideas i saw on pinterest or something and i I found this at Target, so it was only a hundred bucks. I figured this is gonna get dirty. <laughs> I hate spending a ton of money on rugs because you literally just walk all over them and get them dirty. And yeah, so I found this at Target. It was a hundred bucks. I feel like it fits the space perfectly. It's just the five by eight and nice and neutral ivory with the black and gray. And I feel like it kind of ties this space together. That is her nursery. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video. Um, it's definitely not as like high quality or like high production as I originally thought it was gonna be. This is what happens when I record it after baby's here and we are still in newborn life. Getting myself put together, let alone having enough time to record a full video, is a stretch. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, once again, I will link everything down below that I can. And if you have any other questions, comment down below. I will also add the paint colors we used down below because I do not remember them off the top of my head. I know the white, like these three walls are West Highland white. I cannot for the life of me remember the color. There's two color greens. There's a base color, obviously, and then my mom did a little color wash over top. And I don't remember that color. I'll have those linked below or listed below.